Hey folks, Sylvius here, taking a break from the uh, Flash games to do some FTL. Uh, fun fact, I'm going to do uh, the slug ship here. But before I talk about anything else, I want to mention that I did in fact just create a recording of the slug ship that was approximately 45 minutes long. Posted it up on YouTube and everything. And then when I went to, like, put the annotations on, I realized that my recording program lost its mind and instead just recorded the this. This. For the whole 45 minutes. I don't even know what happened. I honestly, I have no idea what happened. So yeah, I just wasted a huge amount of my time. Anyway. <clears throat> Slug A. Zimano War. I'll join the slug for drinks. The slug opens an unlabeled bottle for you and you start to improvise on some strange alien instrument. It starts to improvise. You stretch out on a comfortable couch and look out the viewport. Your personal terminal badge beeps. Uh, sir, do you want to review that damage report you ordered? You click the terminal off. This can wait. Have another drink. <laughs> While mixing the drinks, the slug tells you about its part and its lives of its life of its life when it was still exploring luxury goods on its ho exporting goods to its homeworld. Good times and lots of profit. The slug pours you some gelish purple liquor. Cheers to our mission. I hope this is all worth it. You know, I was making a fortune exporting Zoltan shield components to scan civilizations when the rebellion started, but now I'm not so sure that this whole war is really profitable for everyone. Yeah, whatever. I got wasted. Alrighty. No nebula here at all. <clears throat> so, uh, this ship has a... Good news, Captain. I sense a Federation friendly on board. Sick. More crew is always good. Let's get him onto uh, weapons, actually, here. So, yeah, this ship has a weird assortment of weapons. We've got an upgraded light laser 2 which just makes it fire faster. It's an anti-personnel weapon. Fires three shots for 15 damage each. A Shredder anti-bio bomb, which deals system damage and crew damage. And a tactical dual shot laser two. So this is a dual laser, like a normal model does, except this one deals extra damage to systems, but reduced damage. So what this means is, I can't get through shields, because it doesn't deal any actual damage. If I need to get through shields to damage an enemy ship, I have to drop a shredder bomb into their shield room and then pick them off with the dual lasers afterwards. And I also have no capacity to actually damage an enemy ship right here. Anyway, isn't that weird? Board to look for survivors. Sick. Survivor found. Well, so far, this is a pretty good start, I have to say. So yeah, one of the first things I want to do with this ship is uh, get another weapon. On the upside, though, this ship is capable of being a pirate because of the slug repair gel, so let's do some piracy. He's trying to run from me. Yes. All right. It's not like I have infinite bombs or anything like that, you know. There we go. Well, of course, this is an eggy ship, so it won't be that easy to uh, take him out. Oh, I should probably. Wow, he repaired that instantly. <sighs> you know, if I hadn't missed a bajillion times in a row, I would have actually got him and not wasted two of my missiles.
Why was my uh, why was my oxygen down? Weird. Alrighty, next jump. Can't believe I wasted a whole bunch of bobs on that. Three bobs. Well, this is kind of hilarious. <laughs> I have no capacity to kill it, but it has no capacity to kill me. Although I think... Yep, nope. We got nothing here. You know what I'm gonna do? Auto fire. I'm gonna pause the recording and then I'm gonna come back after my people. Well, my gutter dude at least is max skill, alright? So no reason to make you guys watch this, but this is a good opportunity, because whenever you do run into these types of situations, it's worth it to just, like, do it and then walk away from the computer. So I'm going to pause here. Okay, I can't tell you that that was an enjoyable process, but mission accomplished, look at that. Full weapons compared to all my other people that have no skills. Alright. It pains me a great deal, in fact. How did I get to there? Oh, I must have gone like boop, 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 boop. Weird. Anyway. Yeah, it pains me a great deal to uh, leave a sector without killing the ship. But at least I'm a... Uh... Sick. Wow, I'm just overflowing with crew members. This is crazy. Crazy. I'm gonna swap my... Mantis, though. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, at least uh, I have like infinite jumps here, so it's not like one of my very limited. What? Didn't do anything. <sighs> so we're gonna bio weapon. Oops, I want to turn off uh, auto fire. <sighs> you remember that time I missed every single attack ever? Oh, for the love of God! Alright, well, shields are down now. And basically a non-entity at this point. Crap. The wrong dude moved. <sighs> Gotta hit that shield again before they uh, come back online. Alright, now he's dead. So I took one hit throughout that whole thing. Not too bad, all things considered. Well, I do wish this tactical laser did some damage to mon uh, to people, also. Ah, another crew member! What am I gonna do with all of them? I don't even have a uh, sensors to put him in here. This is weird. I went from two crew members to six in a grand total of... What? I jumped once, twice, three, four, five times. Only one of the places I jumped to did not give me a crew member. <sighs> I have, uh, what could be said, zero capacity to injure this person. I'll make a bad offer. I 
Oh, God. <laughs> my, uh, my tactical laser won't actually do anything to their, uh, their Zoltan shield here. It's not a problem that they have. I mean, is that, like, a super rapid-firing weapon right there they've got? And I can't even really rely on my, uh... Yeah, I can't even teleport the, like, Shredder Bombs in there to do anything, because that won't get through the Resultant Shield either. Come on, come on, come on. Thank God I dodged twice. So that sucked. <laughs> Loot them. You're considerably more well armed than I would have thought. We surrender. I'll accept their offer. How's I able to fire? That's kind of weird. Hurrah for piracy, let me tell you. <sighs> Aid the civilian ship. Jam the enemy weapons. Oh, why do I not have power to my own shields? Why does every enemy ship have to have, like, multiple levels of, uh, like, redundant shielding? <laughs> No oxygen for you, friend. I suppose I can probably turn my oxygen system back on at this point. Oh, hey, look at that. They repaired me. That's kind of cool. The, uh, like, the weapons jammer is a really important thing that I have on my ship at this point. My sensors are no more powerful than the terraforming peoples. I don't have sensors! What are they talking about? Deliver the drone parts to them, I guess. Oh, hey, a store. I mean, I can't actually kill it, so let's avoid it. Another wasted jump. Bah! Who will buy luxury goods, though? Sensors would be nice. Clone Bay would also be nice. <sighs> Do I sell the slug repair gel? Yes, sell the slug repair gel. Money now is more important than the ability to uh, be a pirate. Let's talk to the Angi. The Angi crew member claims that it, that it alone has witnessed over a hundred of its kind being killed by Mantis invaders during its long life. Concept of hate unavailable to Angi. Introduction to Hive Emotion Matrix. Only partial translation possible. 
necessary in order to apply to mantis species only. That's what she said. Hey, a quest. Uh, oh, I mean, what? <laughs> what kind of boarding party is that? Ah, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> that was a whoops moment. That was me accidentally clicking the, uh, the image of something else. Probably a pretty awkward moment, I have to say. The, uh, for whatever reason, I cannot record, uh, I, I mentioned this earlier, but I cannot record FTL in the, like, the normal way that I should be able to, for some reason, and I, I honestly don't know why. Uh, so what I have to do is I have to set the specific area of my screen that I want to record. So it's the little box that FTL's in. I can't play FTL in full screen mode because it won't record, so I'm playing it like windowed. Um, and behind it is the recording program, and uh, also behind it is the actual, like it shows me what's currently being recorded. So when I moved the cursor over to the side, I crossed over the side and accidentally went into the, uh, the program. So I clicked on the program. And then the, uh, the program continued to record itself, which was showing an image of it recording itself, so you had that, like, endless loop of stuff that just happened. It was a whoopsies moment. I'll probably do that again at some point accidentally. Hey, look, a ship that I can't do anything about. Gotta load the shredder bomb up here. For the love of God. And why is that weapon lighting me on fire every single time? Like, that has accidentally become the most useless weapon I have. Yeah, it's gonna be, like, utterly idiotic if every time I try to use the Shredder weapon, I miss, like, eight times in a row. Alright, Angie dude, Mantis dude, go get yourselves healed. It is sort of hilarious, though, that there's nothing I can do about these, uh, drones. And it's unfortunately ultra annoying that every time to knock out their shields is requiring me, like, three to four bombs. And I only have six left at this point. I also have no fuel, which is bad. <laughs> and then there was nothing here. Good. Uh 
so far, that jammer has basically done nothing. I just would like to point that out. I think I've jammed maybe like a quarter of all of these ships I've encountered. Not fast enough. Only minor damage though, so it's all good. Well, at least we're going to kill these people. Both of which are Lannises, it looks like. No. Awesome. I put a whole bridge in that. I don't know if you noticed that. <sighs> oh, I pushed the wrong button. Why did he just randomly switch what he was repairing? I didn't get any fuel anyway. <laughs> Somehow, it's always their uh, missile weapon that doesn't get disabled. How many times am I going to have to do this? Come on. You know, I was wondering why I wasn't dodging any of them, and it's because I had no power to my engines for some reason, and I don't know why. Don't know why! Get yourself healed up, friend. I really... needed this to not happen. Oh my god. Of course it didn't fully disable their uh, stuff. Why would it have ever done that? Oh wow, I'm honestly surprised they managed to get that hit there. Come on, shields up, shields up, shields up! Come on, shields up, shields up, shields up! <laughs> right in the weapons room every time! All of you can get, get healed, I suppose. Resist twice in a row. Dude, this game. This game. I've got two shredder bombs left. And I jumped into a thing. I think all I really need to be using here is this. get over there. <sighs> Use
you can go get healed, you can go get healed. I'll let the rest of you... Actually... Right now we have one of those uh, situations where I can just train my people's skill up infinitely. Kind of like earlier. So I'm going to actually just... Uh, I'm going to fully heal all my people just in case something goes horrifically wrong first. But then I'm going to... Uh, I'll just pause and let my people get all their skills up. Although I might as well just kind of speed the process along a little bit. Okay. So now that my people are all healed up, I'll just kill that Mantis dude, so that way there's only one that needs to die. Uh, and hey, I'm gonna pause it here, alright? Well, first let's see if I manage to kill this human with a shot here. Okay. Now I'm gonna pause, and we'll just let this go until all of my people's skills are all the way up. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, people. I'm back, and this is taking way longer than I'm willing to let it take. <laughs> I got engines at that, piloting at that, and shields at that. Now in addition to this taking way longer than I'm willing to let it take, the other reason why I'm just not letting it happen is because uh, ultimately I plan on replacing all these crew members <laughs> with uh, Zoltans. Sick. I mean, a shame I'm never going to use that, but sick. So yeah, since uh, I plan on not really using any of these guys, I figured it just works as well. Let's get to the store. Hope I can get something uh, awesome here. I can sell my luxury goods, that's worth it. Sell that. That was worth basically nothing. What do we got? Piercing auto laser? Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm gonna buy the piercing auto laser. And upgrades. Shame I can't buy any of these things. Cloaking would be nice. I'm considering buying the cargo teleporter. I'm looking at the cargo teleporter as, like, an investment in the future for now, so I'm going to get it. And worst case scenario is, it turns out I immediately get another augment somewhere, and then I don't use it ever. Continuing to the depths of space. Well then, oh, forget you guys. Oh yeah, man, look at that shield piercing right there. It's delicious. Delicious. That part was slightly less delicious. I gotta finish this before my crew suffocates. Mission accomplished! And I got a new crew member. Alright. Power to uh, oxygen, though. Look at this! Because what I totally need are more crew members. Well, to be fair. To be fair! More is possibly better than less. We'll talk... I don't even have any of the... I'll talk to an Engie, whatever. 
Thingy crew member claims it once survived being shot at with a scrap firing flat gun. If you didn't know better, you'd say the robotic crewman is actually proud of this feat. <clears throat> I don't know what to say about that. <sighs> uh, it would be awesome if that augment worked. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, trying to run away? Well, they're not running away today, that's for sure. No engines for you, friend. Yeah, buying buying that piercing auto was amazing. <laughs> amazing. Uh, before you have a chance to open them, pirate ship appears out of the of hiding and charges at the same time. The crates fly open. Uh, oh. Oh. There we go. That was like overwhelmingly absurd. Switch to the uh, auto here. Ah, no. Oh, my God. I did not realize they had repaired that that quickly. You guys get out of there before it poisons you again. Sick. Do they even have drones on their ship? Like, they have a drone control. Well, he's dead now. And I think it's pretty safe for me to heal my people now. But oh my god, for real, like I almost lost my crew way too many times <laughs> because of that hacked medbay. This whole time I was like, why would you ever hack the medbay? That's so stupid. What a dumb strategy. Well, now I know. Hacking the medbay is actually a pretty good move. Well, that's an annoying weapons configuration there. They got some kind of weird weapon there that doesn't uh, pierce shields for some reason. I got a Jerry, which I think is a Zoltan. It is a Zoltan. 
We're gonna have him go into... Uh, shields are already kind of whatever. We're just gonna have him go into shields. I don't care. But getting a Zoltan is sick. Especially since they have that event that can give you more Zoltans. So I'm just gonna talk to him at every opportunity. Internal generator, ammo manufacturer. No, I don't really want any of those. Let's just talk to my Zoltan. Alright, well... Him giving me fuel is just as good as him... Well, definitely not as good as him giving me more Zoltan crew members, but still pretty good. Do 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 do. Let's get the uh, Engi out of there. Since they're just gonna make this take a decade. Fway. Who else needs healing? Alright, everybody healed? Good. Everybody back to positions. Let's go kill some losers. Aww. I skipped over that. I should have read that. Anyway. We've been running interference and sabotage missions in this sector for months on our own now. No idea what you're doing here, but you might be sufficiently equipped to take on a rebel prime target we identified. You are not some kind of deserter, are you? Will you accept the mission? Sounds dangerous, but we can try. Good, the target is a rebel station that is a key part of their supply lines. We transmit coordinates. Oh, hostiles incoming. We gotta go. They cease communications. You detect the faint jump signature nearby. Immediately afterwards, a rebel ship jumps in. Finally got you, you evasive f Wait, who are you? A cruiser class? Fed ID, huh? Well, just as good. They lock weapons on your ship. Yeah, those jammers kind of suck. That's what I've discovered. Come on, come on, come on. Good, he's dead. That's offline. Next is your turn. Ah, crap. Ah, even more crap. Door shut. Okay. Good thing it didn't do anything, but still. Aw, oh, crap. Might as well knock out their uh, oxygen system while I'm here. Did I destroy their uh, their drone control? I don't remember doing that. Whatever. Man, that quest is in an annoying spot. I got to double back. I hate doubling back. The thing about doubling back. Bah! Target jammer. <sighs> Why are my shields not powered? No, I want to shoot there. Crap, I shot the wrong spot. No oxygen for you.
sector scanner. Oh, I should have read that too. I apologize. I'm not being a very good Let's Player right now. I'll attempt to follow them. Wonderful. I don't know what exactly that weapon does, but wonderful. Why am I doing that? Yeah, kill the Lannis as fast as possible. Ah oh, man, if one of them comes back to life, I'm gonna be kind of irritated. There we go. Tactical Artillery Laser, Mark II. Wonder my pilot get injured. Uh huh. Well, let's see, what does this do? <sighs> Deals one less damage, but system damage two. Four power required, charge time 18 seconds, shield pierce one. No, I don't think I'll ever use that. I use the tactical laser on that one rock ship plenty of times, and it's just... One solid, like, super weapon like that is cool and all, but... Oh my god, is it horrible when it misses. Door shut? Not that that's gonna matter. Uh, I mean, weapons still gotta be the first target. Alright, next is mind control. Alright, next is mind control better. Alright. Yeah, of course. Boop boop! Obsolete ion cluster bomb. <laughs> Cooldown. Times 1.25. Nice. Yeah, no, I don't want that. I do, however, want to actually get to that quest. Because that quest should just give me something for free. Mantis Mine Lair. I've been hit. For the love of Pete. Now they're gonna get healed. Alright, well now they're not getting healed anymore. Awesome. <laughs> I guess I'll get rid of one of these guys. Incidentally, I noticed that I have not encountered the shop. I buy that teleporter thing and nothing. Well, that worked out well. Back to the tactical laser. Suddenly there's a lot less people there. Yeah. Once I get out of this sector, I am going to end this recording, since I kind of don't know how long it's been going on in the first place, since I uh, had those two pauses. You arrive at the location specified by the infiltrator. 
An automated rebel armory orbits a nearby moon, being docked at by a few rebel riggers. After transmitting the stolen codes, you receive automatic docking instructions. Ooh. You remain tense and ready to power the weapons at a second's notice, but no one bothers you as the station's drones install weapons from the rebel arsenal on your ship. You leave the station immediately in charge of the FTL. What did I just get? Wait, what? <laughs> Can charge multiple times. Cooldown 1.5, power cost increased to 4. Damage up by 1. That doesn't really fit my uh, my current like approach on this ship, and I can't imagine. At least in the Infinite Edition, it's really hard to have a four power weapon fit your uh, your current approach. Just because like <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to upgrade my weapons and then scrap all of my other weapons for this. But, as just an overall weapon, after 32 seconds, yeah, I don't know. Hard to say. Like, just uh, pure stat-wise, if you ignore the power requirement, it is as good as a heavy laser. You're dealing two damage, and you're firing once every eight. So yeah, I mean, that's just as good as a normal heavy laser, I believe. Just the normal heavy laser only takes one power, and this takes four. The upside being you can charge this, but yeah, I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. A little disappointed by what that turned out to be. A little bit. Gotta load up the bio beam, or the bio thing here. You guys, go play with him. You too. Please break completely, thank God. Ah, for the love of Pete. Is he dead? Alright, good. He's dead. The power condiments are probably not worth anything, so I'm going to hold on to the sector scanners because I think those are probably worth more. Probably. Alright, who's injured right now? You're injured. You're injured. You're not injured. You're injured. Who else is injured? You're injured. Alright. Now everybody go back to your posts. Alright. Again, I'm noticing a s severe lack of store. Yeah, I don't care. Hey, it's a store. Holy bejesuses. Shame I can't buy anything here right now. Alright. I want to sell my sector scanners. My tactical artillery. My obsolete piece of crap. My light anti-crew crap. And that piece of crap. Can't afford the cloaking, which is disappointing. The anti-ship battery is actually a pretty cool thing to have, just for the record. Uh, it, it does work like the anti-ship batteries do normally. It takes one power and you can target the enemy ship. It is a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid thing. No. No. Super no! No. 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 The anti-ship battery would actually be a pretty uh, decent investment. I'm, I'm kind of torn right now. I don't know what to do.
The only problem with the anti-ship battery there is the part where it says it requires missiles, so I don't think I can pull that off. As painful as it is, because it, it is a very offensive piece of equipment. Eh. Probably just get by with the tactical laser, I think. Nah, I just need another asteroid to hit him. Come on, asteroid! And get in there and repair. Ugh. Whatever, shoot that too while we're at it. You go repair that also. Oh, I forgot that I can't actually deal damage with that though. Whoops! You, friend, need to go get healed. You need to take over so that we can be slightly charged to get out of here faster. Yep, birdoodles. I'm kind of regretting not picking up that, uh, anti-ship battery. Although it also can't be used in hazardous terrain, which is kind of a disappointment, too. Hey, that might be that thing that I had at one point that shoots through uh, shields. That is that thing that I had at one point that shoots through shields. Fancy that. <laughs> wow, what a nice little volley of misses I fired. Oh, and I forgot that they're draining my oxygen here, too, as we go. There we go. I, uh... I needed that fuel. Oh, you know what? I said I was gonna end the video here, and video end I shall. Back to the main menu there. Uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. At least there's a subscribe button over here. There was not a button for liking, and as I, I don't think there was a button for favoriting either. I couldn't set an annotation for that. Uh, and I also can't set one for commenting for that matter. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys like my videos. I don't know how to turn this off right now. Uh, I'm so used to the old recording program. I think it's this. I hope it's this.